Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Hold That, episode three. Hold That, episode three. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Wednesday Night Fights uh, here. I've got with us, I've got Dr. Stance, as, as always, per usual. Thank um, you. And then we've got L Trouble. So we're going to be talking to L Trouble about uh, community management, building a community from scratch, keeping it going. Yeah, uh, uh, ju just overall FGC, sustainability, okay. uh, and stuff like that. Sounds good. Exactly, okay. exactly. Then we'll, we'll, we'll do the per usual stuff. We'll uh, show you guys some highlights of last week's Wednesday Night Fights. Then we'll do a community spotlight. We've got a pretty funny video to, to show you guys tonight. Yes. Yes. And then after that, uh, me and Paul are going to do a first of five random random. What? Oh, random, random. Random, random. Yeah, but, okay. but, but random, random, every single, uh, every single after each w Winner match. and loser yeah. goes back to random. Random, select. random like again. That. Yeah, like that's what that. we're going to do. That's sick. That's we're, who that's is the king, the true king of Street Fighter <laughs> and all of its yes, aspects? That's what this we're going to decide tonight. This will unarguably define that. Exactly. <laughs> who is the best? Who 100%. is the best? Yeah. Speaking of the best, one of the best in the business at keeping a I'm game okay. alive. I'm okay. Yeah. So uh, trouble. Uh, we're, I, I just want to give uh, Eugene here a just a quick little summary why we we why we have him on the show yeah. and nobody else. Uh, Eugene here is one of in, in a team effort one of uh, the people spearheading the uh, the life uh, and sustain and the su uh, sustainability of Super Turbo right. as not only a game but as a community. They do it out here. ST Revival. It's all these guys. So thank you so every much for being on the show. Every single yeah, Wednesday. No thank you. Guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, get the conversation starting uh, started. So uh, first, why why ST? I mean, why? why <laughs> and also, guys, if I get you're that just joining, yeah, uh, we're gonna call Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. We're gonna call it ST for short because yes. Super Turbo. Just shorthand, so you're all in the know there. So we say ST. That's what we're talking about. All so the why games, ST? one of the uh, one of the oldest. This one, one of the classic old man games. I, I call it part of the Trinity with like ST, Third Strike, CBS Two. It's you know one of the three. Old oh, those two games. are so okay. young compared to Super <laughs> Turbo, though. <laughs> yeah. So why why, why ST? Uh, I think a lot of it, uh, at least personally for me, is nostalgia because I grew up in that generation where you know Street Fighter Two was the hottest game out yeah. in the arcades at the 7-Elevens um, pretty much anywhere you Laundromats, go Street Fighter II, yeah. anywhere not just arcades it was everywhere movie theaters exactly. everything like anywhere you go that you know teenagers or kids would go Street Fighter Two was guaranteed to be there yeah. so I think that's a big part of it um, but also I do really enjoy the game a lot I think it, it exemplifies the idea that you know it's a simple game to learn and play but difficult to master right. yeah. which I think is key to, to why I love the game so much it's, it's how I tell people um, why I enjoy the game, That's why cool. they should play it, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, I got sucked into it by uh, a few of the uh, old school crew from back in the day, like uh, Kuropi, who's been around for decades and years and years and years, and he kind of got me into it. So oh, the frog from uh, Hello Kitty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Kuropi, yeah, I know yeah, Kuropi. You know an ST guy. Got, got. <laughs> yes, no, I know. Yeah, he's one of the old school crew who's been playing, you know, Street Fighter 2 since pretty much it came out. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Is that him, someone James in Chan. the states? Yes. What? Oh, do I, do I know Kuropi? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you probably see him around here and there. Okay, okay. Um, but outside of Super Turbo, I don't think many people know about him. Okay. Or like Super Turbo Revival. Cool. But he's the guy who started Super Turbo Revival, the group, and did all those cool tournaments with the Tournament of Legends and all that yeah. kind of stuff that we saw at Evo. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that wasn't originally you and Tanya. That was... No, no, no. That, that, was, that was all him. That was okay. him and his crew. And then me and Tanya kind of kind of hopped on towards the, uh, you know, recently, the last few years or so. Okay. Yeah. And we kind of helped out, keep the spirit going, so. Well, I mean, a little bit more than just help out. I mean, you guys, I mean, I, I, and the thing is, like, when I see, like, you guys, see, I've actually said this before on, on uh, stream and off record, on the record, that uh, I feel like when it comes down to, like, keeping a video game alive, I have never seen so much love and adoration. Because, oh, like, you. now let's just be real. Street Fighter V is alive and kicking because it's the current game. That's yeah. what's key. Oh, yeah. that's, that's why people are entering. It is the current tournament game, mm -hmm. but you cannot sustain an old game, a, a dead game, without the love that you guys put into yeah. it. Yeah, you're whoa, right. whoa, whoa! Careful where you swing <laughs> oh, on that. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's sorry. A dead game, you know, phrase. <laughs> that's why well, I did the quote. That's though. why I did the quotes. <laughs> dead because it's very much yeah. alive. Yeah. Um. So like, so when you took over mm -hmm. the reins, you and you and Tanya and and your guys' team. Um, like, I mean, what, what, what goes into sustaining a, a game, a community for a game that does not get 
the the mainstream. It doesn't yeah. get the Capcom Pro Tour bucks. Yeah, of you course, know. of course. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely don't have the big bucks to you know, <laughs> have all these major tournaments, you know, five-digit pot prizes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we do what we do is try to show up every single week, uh, be regular, be consistent with it. Yeah. And uh, beyond that, also try to hype it up, at least on social media. Mm -hmm. That's what I've learned is that if it, if it doesn't happen on the Internet, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if there's no pictures <laughs> of it, there are no streams, if no one's talking about it, you might as well be a dead scene. So, like, me like and Tanya try our best in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of idea. So they like do, we try and they to, do. Yeah, and we try to promote <laughs> oh, it a lot, like, on, like, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. We try to keep the conversation going, try to keep the hype train going. We, we do weekly tournaments here at Wednesday Night Fights we do. to kind of help out with that and showcase, uh, you know, high-level play and mm. whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Being consistent, being regular, and uh -huh. just try to get the community organized, get everyone talking, get everyone on the same page. And that's kind of our approach to it. If, if you guys didn't put all that out there, we, I mean, do you find it, difficult to get people interested in, in super turbo or or is it one of those situations where it's like hey we're playing st like and then all these super turbo nuts just kind of come out <laughs> well see my trick is is that well first of all you know when someone's trying to teach you a new game say they say okay yeah. here's this new game here's what's really cool about it this character can do that and that and that and like at the end of the day that player that players just might not be that into it for whatever reason you know right. you know too complicated all that kind of stuff me, I try to sell people on the community first and foremost. Okay. Even before you sit down and play the game or whatever, if I see you kind of casually kind of, you know, looking at Super Turbo but not really interacting, I'll make an effort to go up and like talk to the guys like, hey, what's going on? Like, do you mm -hmm. play Super Turbo? Are you interested? And then I get, I kind of get that conversation going. And then through me just talking to them, I can already feel like they kind of let their guard down and they're a lot more open to, uh, you know, the community, what they have to say meeting all the players, and then that way I kind of slipped the game in you know, yeah. <laughs> somewhere down <laughs> the road. No, that makes a lot of sense. That, make, that makes a lot of sense. Just, uh, from my point of view, or from like where I came in, was like, I think it was the uh, first I saw, no, 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 first I was introduced to an arcade cabinet, mm -hmm. and then I was like, oh, this is, you know, it's a game. You know, it's an arcade game. And then the uh, person who was in introducing it to me was actually my friend, my buddy's, my buddy's uncle, and then he basically gave us this whole backstory on like 15 different dudes Alex Baye and Watson cool. yeah. and like gave us the whole rundown on arcade culture yeah. Yeah. and like almost being stabbed and stuff and I was like dude this sounds great <laughs> I'm just days. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're, you're kidding because yeah. I've heard I've actually heard that no, story no, no, no. he had some I've crazy <laughs> run-ins but, but it was I've that it was that like wow are you just, like people got that serious about this oh, yeah. game like oh, in yeah. personal I never got to experience that because I, you know, I sat at home and played Counter Strike, you know, in my that's whole teenage years. Right, right. You know, like that's yeah, all that I, I, did. I didn't really get to that arcade experience, um, just because I, I just didn't, I just didn't. Yeah. Uh, I was a little bit late, I think, as far as the, uh, the uh, that generation. Yeah. But here. hearing that story is exactly what you're saying. Like it was the community, uh, you know, the, uh, the potential for story, I guess, is what is what really like sold yeah. it for me. So yeah, I think that's, that's a really thing, smart like. approach. Like, yeah. Yeah, sell them so. on us. <laughs> or, uh, exactly, because like a lot of people, you know, right. they play the game. Maybe they like it, maybe they hate it, but you know, they might move on eventually down the road. Especially in the gaming community, where it's always about the newest trend, the mm -hmm. newest games coming out, et cetera, et cetera. But I right. think the you, reason. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, but okay, yeah, like on that, it was just like it's a uh, yeah. It's sort of like um, I mean, as soon as Street Fighter Four. Uh, or as soon as 345 <laughs> happened, like yeah, Street Fighter 4 just like dropped, just Quit dead. Later. And it's so weird to me because there were so many people so who loved love. that game, so much love. and they just don't play it anymore. For right, right. Reason. So yeah, it's always like, uh, hey, where, well, where, where's the money? Like, where, where, where's the tour going? Where, what is the tournament going to, you know, going to be providing? And I think it's a, that yeah, I think it, well, that is like, I guess it's more. There is the money, but then it's also like, okay, so what if you're still like, if you. Even if you spend all this time being the best at Street Fighter 4, there's this aspect of like, well, nobody plays that game anymore, so who gives a shit that you're right. the best at That's it now? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's well, like, I was well, that say, doesn't mean anything. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, with, and, and, and this applies to Street Fighter 4 and, and going backwards. Uh, you know, let's just say you started playing Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 2 today. And then, and you know, at the end of the week, you end up, you're the best in the country, best in the world even. Never happened, but let's just say <laughs> you're even so. You're probably not going to get. You know, you, you hear this magic word sponsorship. You know, oh, like yeah, sure. will you be sponsored playing like these these old games? So that's so that's what's resonating with me because I'm well, I might be of the same age as you. I'm 31. I was I'm born 31 as well. Okay, so yeah, so we, you know, right at that right at that peak, we were right there when it started, and then yeah. right there when it peaked, where 
not only was everybody playing Street Fighter 2, and, and, and TV shows and movies were referencing it, and it was a biggest, it was a big part of popular culture. Right, but right. like, if you, weren't, if you weren't the one playing it, like you had a friend who was playing it. You know, somebody yeah, exactly. had a Super Nintendo or a Genesis, and you guys, were, we were playing Street Fighter 2 mm -hmm. in whatever form. Uh, so after all these things, like you've dedicated a good portion of your life and energy to, to keeping Street Fighter 2 alive, what has been the greatest thing about that? Like the, 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 big, the biggest triumph um, in, in being part of ST Revival? Uh, the biggest triumph, I would say, is... Well, as far as Super Turbo goes, was definitely the Tournament of Legends series that happened a few years ago. That was a big, that was really cool seeing Super Turbo at Evo mm -hmm. on the main stage with a stream watching and like 20,000 whatever people watching. Whatever it was. That was insane to me. <laughs> like, I would never imagine that ST would be back on the main stage at Evo. That was ever super again. hype. I've gone and back watching back. <laughs> I've gone back and watched that stream <laughs> at least like seven times. Yeah, it's that crazy. Was that That's was one of the best Super Turbo I've watched in my life. Um, but the second thing, at least from a personal experience, a personal level, is really the community, the people I've gone to meet mm. all across the country, all across the world. You know, I've made friends in Spain, France, Japan, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, everywhere. These people I would definitely not have met if it wasn't for the fighting game community, if it wasn't for Super Turbo. And I think, you know, even if I should retire tomorrow for Super Turbo, whatever, that's what I'll carry with me the rest of my life is all those connections I've made and experiences I've had, which yeah. Yeah, I think is priceless, really. Like, I think that's the best part of our community, I think, is community. It's a, uh, the FGC is a community. Is this the C part? Yeah, the C part <laughs> the of FGC. The, the, the C word. <laughs> I always forget there's a C word in yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have you gone to any of these places to play? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Where? where, I've, where? I've flown up to uh, Texas for Texas Showdown. Mm -hmm. They had an ST tournament there. I've gone to New York for Defend the North. They had a major ST tournament there about two years ago. And uh, me and Tanya went out there, and a couple of Japanese went out there. Uh, this year, I went to Toronto for Canada Cup. Cool. And they had a okay. massive uh, tournament there with, a, you know, uh, two, three Japanese people in attendance and a bunch of other internationals. Yeah. Nice. I've gone to Japan two years ago. I'm going this Are you year. Going to, you, yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah. going again this year. For uh, for an event, or were you just there and then saw, hey, it's like, oh, they're playing Super Turbo over here? Because of course they are. Well, two years ago <laughs> and the one coming up, it was for an event. It was for a an major event. major Super Turbo tournament. Yeah. Okay, so you have traveled oh, yeah. for Super Turbo. I love Wait, I which love one are you? Towel. You're going to one this year? Yeah, I'm going which to one, one in uh, May. It's called Kakerugo. Okay, is this uh, is this one of the ones that we were watching together? On the on that was that was no, like that a was, team uh, tournament or something. X Mania, EXT, I think, like uh, in August, right? Like a few months I don't, ago I don't, I don't so. remember. I just yeah, remember I being in chat, and being like super <laughs> interested. <laughs> yeah, that um, was like several months ago. Okay. Um, that was a tournament, and then they have a what coming up? Let's say a five on five mm -hmm. tournament called Kakadugo. Okay. It means something in Japanese. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> but that's but the name. Yeah, that's the name. It's big. Uh, we have confirmed thirty international players going. Oh, cool! Nice. From all over the world, uh, Europe, America. Me and Tanya are going. Sound Scope is also a Wednesday Night Fights oh player God. here. Yeah, so it's big. Like a lot of people are traveling this year for this tournament. So that's awesome. Yeah, I'm that's excited. awesome. Yeah, dude. Sky, uh, Silent Scopes used to be everywhere. Do you remember that game? I love that game. That, that game was tight. Where yeah, we have so Silent Scope with that, that little yeah, rifle. dude. <laughs> yeah, that sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, that's all right. That's all right. That's a little minor combat. <laughs> 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 it's all good. It's all good. Um. So okay. So on on the opposite end of that, what's uh? What do you think your biggest hardship is like you know do you, you devote so much time <laughs> do you ever go home thinking like nah this sucks like i'm not you know uh well i'm not gonna lie there are nights where i go home and i am kind of sad that like oh you know only 10 people showed up we only got like maybe you know 15 viewers or whatever um and it's hard like trying to find setups that's the biggest problem we have in the scene right now is finding yeah. good setups because the standard is you know arcade perfect super turbo right and just kind of hard in this, in this day and age that's what you have you have a you're on a cps2 right yeah, an so actual we, cps2 thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> an actual cps2 period yeah so big i can play my hitbox on uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Dope. so yeah big shout out to dgb and undamned uh, they actually loaned it to me basically oh, cool. it's a we call it a consoleized super gun, so it, it allows you to play arcade perfect um, CPS2 games on like a TV. Cool. And it has converters so you can plug in like an Xbox 360 stick or a PS3 stick or a PS4 stick, and you're good to go. So that's how we've, that's our setup here. Well, how much, how much is one of those things? So the bottom part, which is the, I guess the console of it, okay. the top part is the, the green thing you see over there is like the, the board. Or oh, that's the that's, board. Yeah, yeah, that's the board, okay. and then the bottom is like the, where the, the console, the, the console part is. Think of it like a Super Nintendo. That's okay. basically how it works. Uh, the bottom part is expensive. It's four hundred dollars. Damn, it's not cheap. <laughs> What's the whole package? Play then? some old like, games. <laughs> all of it. Uh, well, the top part is this other part you need. That's uh, the Super Turbo board. That kind of 
varies depending on the pricing at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think right I now. we had ones. Be like, I know. I, mean, I, could yeah. I could Well, they're it out, using it. They're, okay. yeah, they're using it. <laughs> but on <laughs> average, it's between 150 to like 250 That's kind okay, of the range. So, so okay. it's like a six, $700 investment. Yeah, it's one. not a cheap investment. Okay. But um, if you guys want to play like online, that's free. That's 100% free. Uh, uh, Fightcade, right? Fightcade yeah, Fight Fight is the com. best way to play it? Online, yes. It's the absolute best way. It's completely free. All you got to do is like register your handle or whatever. Download the client, download the ROMs, and then you're good to go. You're in there. Yeah. I played a little bit of hyper fighting on Fightcade. I think, yeah, like one time I played some dude from Japan. I got smoked. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what happened. I could barely see what happened because <laughs> <The laughs> cause it was rollback. Yeah. So yeah. Hard. yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gotta no. check that ping. You gotta uh, check that ping before you go. I got on. to play some uh, Primal Rage on it, though. I, really? Yeah. I didn't know they had that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know they had that either. I'm pretty sure that, yeah. Maybe uh, that was a different emulator. Maybe you're. Well, you're both like, oh, wait. Maybe it was a different <laughs> out. <laughs> Nick's not on Fight Kate. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, no, That's all right. Uh, <laughs> nobody cares. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares. Right, right, dead game, dead game. Right. Right. Go, move dead on, game. move on. Um, <laughs> cool. So, uh, organizing all this for. Uh, all this time, you, you put up so much free time into it. I mean, so much of your life and soul. I mean, hell, you're going. To Japan because you want to play Super Turbo. Yeah. That's a huge commitment. Huge. Um, Expensive too. <laughs> I, I bet. I yeah. bet. Uh, on the on the outside world, like okay. from the inside looking out, uh, has being part of the SC revival in the capacity that you are, mm -hmm. have, has it given you like a different a different world view or like skills or does it benefit you on the outside world? Like, do you go to work being like, yeah, I. I run ST. Oh. Like, I keep ST alive. <laughs> I mean, I don't, like, promote and <laughs> hand out business cards and all that kind of stuff. But I, I think it does help me in the sense that it's helped me sort of learn to talk to different people, mm -hmm. learn how to work with other people. Because, like, it's a big team effort. It's not just me doing all this. It's me. It's Sharon. It's Tanya. It's, it's all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Not to mention, like, you know, TOs all over the country who kind of, you know, want to organize tournaments and they ask me questions. I try to help them get started and stuff like that. So I definitely think that there are some, let's say, soft skills that can be transferred to the real world. Yeah. Um, organization, and organization, people skills, teamwork, yeah, team people efforts. skills are a big deal. Um, what kind of questions like are these TOs coming to you with? Like logistical things, or a lot of it is logistical. Some okay. of it is like kind of questions you guys are asking about, you know, like how do we get people to actually how do you get started? Come, come how do you get people yeah. interested? And uh, yeah, I tell them the same spiel I gave you guys, where I really try to... Do you encourage them to get a venue and stuff to do it out of? Or are these people trying to do it out of their homes or anything like that? Oh, well, I tell them to kind of piggyback off whatever local um, event you have. You know, okay. obviously Street Fighter Five is a big thing. So my strategy yeah. was kind of go to Wednesday Night Flights and bring a setup. Right, right. Because a, a lot of guys here, you know, they like Street Fighter too, but a lot of them guys like Street Fighter. Yeah. And I think it's kind of cool for them to see the older Street Fighters. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that, um, yeah, they get interested in that a lot. Like, uh, guys like Brand's Cool has really liked ST now. I I, I know. Yeah, I, he I, really I, loves he, the game now. I, I saw him I saw him playing a bunch at SCR. I see him tweet, tweet about it, and I see him over there playing uh, really? DJ, right? He's playing DJ? He's playing DJ, yeah. He's playing DJ, yeah. yeah. That, he's, see, I knew that because I've actually seen it. It's, you know, shocking to Street Fighter 4 generation, but DJ is pretty good in Super Turbo. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you guys don't <laughs> know, <laughs> yeah, DJ. Yeah. <laughs> what a world, right? He's, like, amazing, isn't he? He's really, yeah. He's solid. He's really solid. Uh, okay, so this is sort of a, so in a more pointed direction. Let's okay. just say, so someone comes to you, they they send they send you an email. They're like, hey, I'm I'm from the small town Maryland Sykesville is where I'm from. So I'm just going to use it as an example. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from a small town Maryland. I have the CPS too. I got I'm I'm into uh, I'm into Super Turbo. Yeah. I want to start a community. Boil it down. Please help me. What do I do? Mm. How do I get? And there's this? nothing to piggyback on. There's nothing. There, yeah, there's no. Yeah, <laughs> they're just out there on yeah. an island, a figurative island. Yeah, um, it's tough. Um, I tell people to like kind of uh, advertise heavily, all over wherever you can. You know, Facebook and Twitter, are obviously, some of the biggest sources of, of advertisement. You know, a lot of guys I see, you know, tweeting James Chan's like, "Hey, I'm trying to start up a weekly um, tournament at my house or wherever at this place I found. Um, can you tweet me out?" And yeah, um, just by doing that alone, you'll reach a lot of people who probably don't know you're trying to do that, but are in the area like, oh, I didn't know they're, they're starting a you know, super, super Turbo in Maryland. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'll, uh, go, I'll go down there and uh, check it out. Uh, another way is to kind of get in connection with um, other people who are into your scene. Because mm. you don't know who's out there, you don't know who's into the game, they're just kind of lurking, whatever, and uh, try to get in contact with them um, through social media is how I do it. Uh, outside of that, uh, I guess you can pass out flyers, physical flyers in your area, go to like, you know, local gaming stores, whatever. Um, they have a lot of, I don't, I call them PC bangs, but I don't know what they call them nowadays. Like gaming cafes oh, where they like have like Land computers. Center? Land yeah. Center, thank you. Okay, Land Center. <laughs> you can post it up there. I don't there. know, maybe that's even too like old now. I, I call them PC They just call them <laughs> eSports <laughs> arenas now, that's what they call them. There we go, there we go, that <laughs> yeah, works that's, out too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I recommend, just get the word out as best you can. 
Cool. Yeah, sounds so simple. Uh, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, we wanted to talk to you about you know the community. Uh, I'm gonna you know give you a, a, a thank you for what you guys do because you know I feel like I feel like the thing is none of these communities are going to live as long as they are or continue to live because uh, they'll all eventually die uh, without the love that you guys have, have given. So to me, yeah. it's like it, it's a it's a huge example. I think it's exemplary of what like we're saying the community in the fighting game community really is. So Absolutely. thank you guys, you, thank you so much for it's being on the self, show. It's a no selfless you pursuit. So thank yeah, you it very, is. Very, like very much. it's it's alive because of love, and that's it. It's that's, not that's not money or anything like that. Definitely not. Definitely money. not money. You have to be passionate to keep this kind of stuff going. Exactly. So, so you've mentioned social media a bunch. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh yeah. What are your social media outlets? How can people find you? Uh, and I where can I'll, they find the stream? And yeah, okay. that's one of them. That's one of them. So the stream we're about to do in like an hour is at twitch.tv slash Sharonasaurus X. I'm not sure if we can spell we'll that. Put, we'll put that. <laughs> we'll put that. We'll put it down somewhere. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put it on the uh, in the chat. Okay, so Sharonasaurus X. Yeah, Sharonasaurus X. And then on Twitter, I guess is at L Trouble S R K. One word. You know, e L Trouble S R K. Cool, cool. <laughs> so at L Trouble S R K. If yep. you guys want help, advice, send this guy a message, yeah, send him a know. tweet. Yeah. Uh, obviously, always willing to. So. Uh, I think that's going to conclude our first se segment, right? Yes, it is. So right now we're going to cut to the Wednesday Night Fights highlights from the previous week. Big, big, big shout out to Al Trouble. Thank you, man, for coming Thank through. You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course.